A recent study has been making headlines because it has linked increased consumption of ultra-processed foods with higher risk of glaucoma. And this study is one of the latest in a growing body of research that's showing us that all the time we're saving by eating fast food is costing us in the long run in terms of shortened lifespan with poor vision and health outcomes. In this video, I'm going to go through this new study, its findings, its limitations, and actionable tips of what we can do to naturally protect our vision and health. By the way, I'm Dr. Michael Chua. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and I make videos to help you see better, look better, and feel better too. So in this study, researchers from Spain and Harvard University looked at 19,225 research participants who were enrolled in a large cohort study called the Seguimiento Universidad de Nevada, or SUN project. Each participant filled out a 136 item food frequency questionnaire at the beginning of the study and another one 10 years later so researchers had an idea of their dietary habits. The researchers followed each subject for an average of 12.9 years and identified the people who went on to develop glaucoma during that follow-up period. Since they had information on what kind of food each person was eating and they knew who went on to develop glaucoma, they could analyze whether people who ate more ultra-processed foods had a higher risk of developing glaucoma compared to people who ate less ultra-processed foods. Some examples of things they considered ultra-processed foods were foods like soda, cookies, chocolates, cakes, packaged salty snacks, and pre-prepared frozen foods like pizza or pasta dishes. They divided participants into four groups depending on how much ultra-processed foods they ate per day, with group one eating one serving or less per day, group two eating one to three servings, group three with three to four servings, and group four eating more than four servings of ultra-processed foods per day. When they crunched all the numbers together, they found that subjects in group four, the group that ate the most ultra-processed foods on average, had an 84% increased risk of developing glaucoma compared to people in group one who consumed the least amount of ultra-processed foods. They then subdivided the groups based on the different types of ultra-processed foods and ran the analysis again to see whether a certain type of ultra-processed food, maybe fast food or fried foods or sweets, which was really moving the needle in terms of increased glaucoma risk. When they ran the subgroup analysis, they found that sweets, which included things like breakfast cereals, cookies, donuts, cakes, chocolates, those sort of things. Sweets stood out as a statistically significant contributor for increased glaucoma risk. They found that subjects who ate more sweets had a 52% increase in the risk of developing glaucoma. So when we put everything from the study together, we see that people who ate more amounts of ultra processed foods, especially ones with loads of added sugar, had a significantly higher risk of developing glaucoma. What makes this finding even more concerning is the fact that ultra processed foods are becoming a larger portion of the typical modern diet than ever before in human history. Over the last 100 years or so, food manufacturers have created food products that have been optimized to be easily mass produced, inexpensive, tasty, and shelf stable. But by optimizing for those key variables so they can readily feed lots of customers, what unfortunately gets compromised is the health of the people eating all of this food. For example, a study from the British Medical Journal in 2015 found that 57.9% of calories in the typical American diet came from ultra-processed foods such as breads, cakes, cookies, pies, salty snacks, frozen pre-made foods, and soda. And these results aren't surprising. When you walk down the grocery aisles or when you go to the checkout aisle, you see that they're stuffed with convenient, tasty, and inexpensive ultra-processed foods in beautiful, eye-catching packaging. And so in today's society, trying to maintain a diet consisting mainly of whole foods, things like vegetables, fruits, lean meats, nuts, fish, beans, is more expensive, more time-consuming, and frankly, more inconvenient compared to having a diet full of processed foods. But what more and more data is showing us is that all that extra time, effort, and expense to keep our diets full of whole foods is worth it because our long-term health, longevity, and vision will benefit. And so these results remind us the importance of our lifestyle in determining our risk of developing glaucoma. But we should also remember that this study, like most clinical studies, is not perfect. And there are some limitations we should keep in mind when drawing conclusions from it. First is that the study is showing us an association or a correlation between increased processed food intake and glaucoma risk. It may be that 
people who tend to eat more ultra processed foods may exercise less or drink more alcohol or are more likely to smoke or a wide range of other factors that may actually be the ones responsible for increased glaucoma risk. Those possible other variables are called confounding variables. And the researchers in the study did account for other confounding variables such as age, sex, education level, physical activity, smoking, alcohol consumption, BMI, coffee intake, and other medical history in their statistical analysis. But still, even after controlling for all these other variables, it's impossible to isolate just the effect of ultra-processed food intake on glaucoma risk from this study. If you really wanted to do that, you'd basically want to randomize people into two different groups. Give one group a pre-prescribed dose of ultra-processed foods in their diet and monitor them to make sure they stuck to that diet. And then the other control group, you'd have them eat no ultra-processed foods in their diet. Then you'd follow these two groups over several years to see whether there was a difference in the rate of glaucoma between the two groups. But I'm sure you can see how this experiment would be very costly and logistically difficult to do in real world settings. The other limitation we wanna keep in mind with this study is that we're basing our measurement of how much processed food research subjects ate based on a food questionnaire that they filled out a couple of times over the course of 10 years. You can easily imagine how difficult it would be for anyone to accurately estimate exactly how much servings of each type of food they ate when answering a questionnaire. I mean, I don't even remember what I ate for lunch two days ago. So since these research subjects weren't directly monitored for what they were actually eating, this study is based on the responses they gave in their questionnaires, which are not going to be perfectly accurate. Given these limitations, I still think the results from the study are very interesting, as this study is one of the first to link increased ultra-processed food intake with increased glaucoma risk. And it's particularly worrisome, because if you consider that for basically all of human history, the introduction of ultra-processed foods to our diets occurred only relatively recently, maybe only in the last 100 years. But because these processed foods are so cheap, tasty, and convenient, we're seeing that they are making a larger and larger component of our modern diets. And since these foods have now been a large factor in our diets for the last 50 or 100 years or so, we doctors are now starting to see the long-term effects of these foods on our health on a large societal scale. There have been many recent studies coming out in the last few years linking increased intake of ultra-processed foods with diseases such as hypertension and diabetes, as well as premature death. And if trends continue, I would expect there to continue to be more and more studies detailing the negative long-term effects of these foods. And as an ophthalmologist, I'm interested and a little bit worried about seeing what the future studies will show us in terms of the long-term effects of ultra-processed food and our vision going forward. But the data that's currently available helps remind us to try to fill our diets with whole foods and to try to cut down on ultra-processed foods as much as possible. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you live in the Los Angeles, Orange County, or Inland Empire area and want to get an eye checkup, feel free to visit our website or give our phone number a call to make an appointment today. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates. And if you made it this far into the video, that probably means you're really interested in protecting your vision and health. You can watch my video here to learn about some of the best science-backed ways to help prevent glaucoma. I'm Dr. Michael Chua with Pine Hills Eye Care. See you next time.